Hey everyone, Myron here, and today I'm going to break down desync smashes. Before I get into the explanation, I will say that there are a few variations of this tech. However, today I'll be focusing solely on the main version of it to show when and how to apply it. Now, what is a desync smash? Essentially, it's Olimar using an opponent's hitbox to allow his smash to hit through their attack without clanking. It can also allow you to displace the position of said smash to hit where they are instead of where Olimar is. I know this all sounds a bit confusing, so to help illustrate, I've got a few examples to break down for you. Before we get into the specific examples, let me explain how Olimar's smashes work. All of Olimar's smashes have startup, like any other move. However, before the hitboxes come out, the Pikmin desync from Olimar's line to prepare for the smash. During this time, their hurtbox is active allowing them to be hit. Knowing this, it's possible to abuse these hurtboxes to absorb an opponent's incoming attack. Another important factor of his smashes is that once they've been started, they can't be stopped. This means if you can space and time the smash attack to the opponent's hit, the Pikmin will absorb his attack and hit them as if they didn't have a hitbox out. For my first example, I'll be showing a standard desync down smash without any movement. As you can see here, Banana is using Witch Twist below the ledge to recover. Normally, Olimar wouldn't have an option to hit her due to the large hitboxes on Witch Twist. However, if we space accordingly and begin to charge a down smash, we can time it just right to absorb one hit of Witch Twist and then release the smash before the next hit comes out. This allows us to punish Bayonetta's normally safe recovery. Next, I'll be showing a desync pivot forward smash while running away from an opponent. This works similarly to the previous example, however, this time it adds the displacement of the Pikmin. As Olimar dashes away, the Pikmin slightly lags behind him until he stops. To compensate, the Pikmin will move to Olimar after the attack has been input. Knowing this, we can abuse that small window to not only desync the smash on his hitbox, but also allow Olimar to keep retreating. Here, Mario is using his down tilt. If we input pivot forward smash back, the Pikmin will get hit by Mario, locking it in place and smashing from where it was hit. The biggest benefit of this is that it can help punish dash attacks or landing aerials reliably while keeping Olimar safe. For the last example, I'll be showing a desync down smash in the air. This is done by fast falling and immediately down smashing upon landing. Normally, the Pikmin will down smash on the ground, but if there's a hitbox above you, the Pikmin will get trapped in the air and desync where the opponent's hitbox was. This is especially useful when a character with a sex kick, like Sheik's neutral air, is chasing you from above. This is probably the hardest of the three to consistently get, but it has the advantage of double hit down smashing often for a large amount of damage and good KO power. Desync smashes are a great tool that can allow you to punish even the best moves in the game. Similar to the whistle armor, it rewards you for having a strong awareness of the match and Olimar's tools. It's not always feasible to forcibly go for this tech, but most often happens as an on-the-spot adjustment that you made from noticing the opponent's spacing and timing. That being said, I encourage you to practice the spacing and timings. With that said, this will wrap up my breakdown of desync smashes. If you guys liked the video, please share it, and if you want to see more Olimar explanations, feel free to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.